Hello guys, Tropical Anna 99 here and in today's command block tutorial I'll be showing you how to make this buy and sell scoreboard shop. Very simple commands. You need a scoreboard so go and check that video out. It's the slash scoreboard command. See? On the screen. And I've put up this beacon just so we can get it around a bit quicker. If you haven't checked out these piston door videos, go and check them out as well. So, right now I'll just show you how the function works. I have one third leg in each of these slots so I can sell one. Now, my subscribers is one. You could do this as coins or you could just set it to 100 or whatever you like. And now another one gets removed. This one gets removed. Then I can buy one of these. Now mine's gone back to two. And now it goes to one. And then now zero. So, now I'm going to show you how it works. Here, the button emits a redstone signal. This is built down there. This is a... There's nothing here if you just have that door slam. It's just a door slam. And that's a half slab, so we put a half slab there, then a redstone pulse. And we have these three commands. The first one... It's slash scoreboard test players at P subscribers yeah one star and so first you need to figure out your price so and um, to buy um, I'm doing one subscriber so that's why I'm setting it test for one star is the maximum number you can have then two and the second one is removing how many I have. So if you were d setting your price to 10, you would remove 10 and test for 10. Then you give them the item. So I'm doing totem to the 9, so that's totem. And you could just put this as a vending machine, you could cover these up, whatever you like. And then for the cell function, same redstone as over there, different command blocks. The first one, it's clearing one turtle leg. So clear at P whatever it's just really cold so the door keeps slamming and um, turtle leg so the way you can just do different items is i do slash give at p and then it just comes up with all the stuff you can put whatever you like in there and then the final one is it adds a thing so you're basically sending it this is a short video so I think we'll play a mini game. So I think the mini game we're going to play, get away, get away, is going to be. We don't want anything too long. Let's play some murder mystery. Murder mystery. That's, I am level thirteen, just so. You have undershoot blocks in your locket, yeah, I know. No. It's a bit laggy. Oh, it didn't get green swords. Okay, what map is this? This is office. This is office. Yeah. Hive is quite laggy at the moment. To play innocent, I, if I'm a sheriff, what I do is, you run around looking for someone holding a sword. That's how you play sheriff. If you're a murderer, just find people running around and trying to find someone in a room by the self. If you do while they're running, you could show your sword and then them actually see you and know who you are which is bad and I'm just running around because I need the XP so I think we're gonna hide in a room I just said don't do this, but just hide here. Because no one's going to come into this bathroom. 
or toilet area, public toilets, because there's no roots or pipes. I think this guy's the murderer. No, he's not the murderer. He's hiding in a place that no one else. So I think I'll cut until where something happens. Another person has just died. The skeleton guy is not the murderer. Because someone died. Two people just died. Okay. The sheriff's dead. Seeing how good this guy is, he's probably level 40. And we won. So I'm going to hop into another game. Now we're in the next game. I'm not going to vote just yet. You want Zappa Trail and we're lagging. There's someone, there's a Steve in the backwards skin, you could just see him crouching backwards. You crouch this way and he was crouching backwards. And oh, that's what I think. Anyway. This is one of my favourite maps, Toy House. The hive is definitely suffering lag right now. You want to play murder mystery? Uh, the game just before I reached level 30, 13, there was someone invisible and not hacking, it was a skin and they were invisible. And I could not see them, so they were winning. And they killed me. I was hiding behind the dino. And they just killed me. I died. Who, who killed me? This guy killed me. Let's just see. No. And um, let's play another game. I'm going to vote. Mana. Mana is the one with the teleporting fires and look you can see my stats so I've got a lot of coins and I've got insane XP I saw just yeah we would be sheriff I think my lag's cleared up now. Yeah, definitely. And this person's AFK, so they're gonna get killed by the murderer. And the tip on being the murderer, if someone else is around or someone's running, do not kill them. Or do not try to kill someone. If they're running, you might miss and not hit them and then they know and if there is someone else the other person might get away seeing your sword and seeing that you killed someone top tips okay the murderer is not as aggressive as some people have been they're careful Getting a speed boost is very good. We have our insane speed. So you can just get coins. One shot, I don't like having a bow. I think it just ruins the game because having a bow means you're not the murderer and I don't want people to know that you're not the murderer, it builds up suspense. Okay, I think this person was the murderer. Because they just ran. That is, this is a really good mirror of the line. Okay, I'm starting to think that Using up that bow with a bad idea, but then now people are going to be aiming for me. Okay. Turn around. 
something like here. Okay. This is gonna be a very easy game. The murderer seems to be running around collecting coins for the XP. Mm, that's what I think, because they're not killing people. They kill the AFK player over here. But that's all they did. So they're probably running around collecting coins, like me. Not caring that they could get killed. Okay. Okay, people just not good. Why am I not running? There, most of these people are one-shot zappers, so they're gonna start aiming for me because, like I said, I do not have a bow. I wasted it. Okay, the murder is getting a bit more aggressive. Still, I think. Or it's either that someone shot another person thinking they're the murderer, hit them, and then um, got the wrong person, killed themselves and the other person. That's probably what happened. And I just love this map. It's the easiest for XP map in the whole game. Since you can just run around here. And you're running, so no one can actually hit you. Which gives you the upper hand. We are gaining XP so slowly. So let's try to get to 100 XP in this game. Coins will no longer give you XP. Oh, this is but we can still collect them to get the XP. On these stairs, I don't think. Yay, we got loads of XP. So I think that's going to wrap it up for the video. See you in the next one.